Today, we're gonna to talk about what I think is the best tech bag on the market. So as you know, we, we talk about coding a lot on the channel. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, and I'm gonna talk about a coding bag. Uh, I think if you're coding for a living, you everyone has a go-to bag. And so I was in the market for getting a new laptop bag and I had three criteria. Number one is I wanted my bag to be cool looking. I didn't want to have something like say from North Face or whatever that looked like I was getting ready to climb the mountains. I wanted something that would look good in the boardroom, but I also could wear it on my back. So I needed a kind of a really elegant, cool looking bag. The second thing I wanted was anti-theft features in case that I'm on a plane or I'm traveling, that people can't just zip up in the back and, and pull out my electronics out of it. And the third thing is I wanted power on the outside of the bag so I could plug things in. So I did all of my research and I'm not being paid by anyone to show you this because I think the bag is that cool. So this is the bag that I picked. And this is the bag from Mark Ryden. And I think that this bag fits all my criteria. I think it's cool looking. Um, and it also has all the anti-theft features. And so if you look real close here, you'd really have to dig in here to get these open to reach into any of the exterior pockets. To get to the main cabin or the main compartment in the back, there's this fold over flap that you have to like, kind of like, you'd have to really kind of wrangle with. And this is also facing towards your back. And so it'd be really difficult for someone to kind of like um, steal your laptop out of the bag of it. But if you flip it around, it's got a couple of really cool features, um, especially if, if you're traveling or on the road, this sleeve will go over um, the extension arm on your, your rolling luggage. And so you can just kind of slide it right over that. It also has this really cool pocket here that's also against your back. It's padded and you'd put your wallet and all your keep safe maybe your wallet, your credit card, your passport, or whatever would go down in this packet, and no one could possibly steal that because it's against your back. And then finally, inside of this as well, on this flap here, you'll see that there's a power charge right here where you can simply um, plug it in your, your device, your phone, or whatever, right through here, and there's a battery inside this bag. But let's take a look at what's in the inside of this bag. So the first thing out of my bag is my Surface Dock. And the Surface Dock allows me to connect my Surface Book, my Microsoft Surface Book via USB-C. And it gives me two USB ports, a couple of display ports to hook to external monitors, um, and as well as an ethernet for a wired connection. And that powers my laptop. Um, and I keep two of those, one on my desk and one in my bag. And while we're talking about um, my Surface Book, you can see these straps keep it safe and secure inside the bag. I like that. And this is my Surface Book from Microsoft. Um, the Surface Book is a pretty cool device. It allows me to um, open it up. It also can detach and be in a tablet mode. So it's kind of like a two-in-one, but it's the high-end laptop from Microsoft. Also in my bag, I carry an Android tablet. And I'm primarily using my Android tablet for mobile development. And so when I'm building out my Xamarin projects, um, they'll get to my, um, whatever I'm working on, this will be my device that the, the code gets compiled on and displays on. So I use an Android tablet mainly for development, but sometimes I can use it to surf the web or whatever. So the next thing that I think should be in everybody's bag is a pair of noise canceling headphones. And these are my Bose QC35s. It's not the most expensive headset out there, but it's a noise canceling headset. And so if you're working in a cube or an off open office environment, these are an absolute must if you're a coder because your, your cube mate or your buddy next to you will have like four people talking about last night's football game and you're on a deadline. So I definitely think everybody should have a pair of noise canceling headphones in their bag. So let's look at the rest of the interior of the bag. We've got a couple of pockets here a smaller one, a big one. And so if we look at this smaller, let's we'll see what I've got in here. I've got a couple of things. The first thing I have is my Surface mouse. And this is a pretty cool mouse. Um, if you click it down, it's on. If you click it up, it's off. It saves the battery and makes it pack flat. So I like that. I also have a battery pack in here that I, people uh, can hook my devices up through USB. And so it can keep things um, charged all the time. So I always have a battery pack like that. 
And here I also carry some Velcro ties in case I need to do a little cable management or anything like that. I use that a lot. This is my go-to here, my Moleskin tablet. It allows me to kind of take notes in meetings to make sure that I have notes on what I'm supposed to be doing. If I meet with a client or in a meeting or whatever. I also carry a charge brick in my bag. And so this allows me to plug things in. And so I can plug anything with USB-C or I can charge my charge brick from this in case I'm low on power. I've been doing a lot of things. And you see these are have like Velcro in there. Here's the pins. And the pins, I got a couple of pins, a couple of Sharpies, and you know, coated around your orange is a must for the Sharpies, but also have black. And so you need a couple of pins there. Then here I've got a zippered pocket. And inside this zipper pocket, I carry um, some cables, more cables in here. Also have a knife and, you know, carry a little knife around in case I need to open up some packages from Amazon or whatever. True safety tip or travel tip, if you're going to the TSA, going through the TSA line and you're traveling and this is going to be your carry-on and you're getting on an airplane in the United States, just remember the x-ray machines will see this and they'll pull you aside, they'll search you, they'll confiscate your knife and throw it away. You won't be allowed to get on a plane. So if you're getting ready to travel with this, make sure that you look in your bag and pull your knife out if you happen to have one in your bag. The other thing I have some USB-C cables. Everything I have, all of my devices, my Galaxy, my tablets are all USB-C. So I have a USB-C to USB-C cable there. And I also have a backup pair of headphones because currently my Galaxy does have a headphone jack. In case my bows are dead, I can use that. And then I also have a USB stick. And this is a really large one, it's 256 gig. Um, so sometimes when you're copying code, um, some Visual Studio projects can get pretty large. Um, that's by Corsair. It's pretty nice. And then I always carry a, an Ethernet cable. And this is so I can jack into a wire connection and I always bring my own cable. And I have the wire ties here, as I showed you, that keeps it neat and tidy in my bag. So the other thing that I've got in here is an, a, a USB to USB-C cable as well. Um, another one of those in case I need to charge my tablet and my phone at the same time. And then finally, what I have in here is I have two DisplayPort to HDMI cables. This allows me to um, connect my dock up to maybe a dual display. So if I've got a guest area and I'm hooking up two monitors, I can hit from my dock into that. Or I can also run it off of my the, the DisplayPort out of the Surface Book if I want to run it to a projector or something like that. Up here on the side, I've got a hidden pocket here through a zipper. And this is where you put the charge brick for the actual bag. Now, one of my primary requirements for the bag when I was looking for a bag was to have power in the bag so I could charge devices externally. And with the Mark Ryder bag, it allowed me to pick out my own battery. I didn't have to pick the batteries they had shipped with it. And I think that's really cool because then you could pick the size of battery you want. And what I went with is this Anchor battery here. And this has 20,000 milliamp hours in it, which roughly means it'll charge my Galaxy S10 five times. And so that's before I have to recharge it. So I think that's exceptional. And it just has a connection right in there, real simple, wired in the bag. I just hit it up through USB. But if I pull it out of the bag, I also can use USB-C to connect to my tablet or straight to my phone. But this is the coolest feature that I have that I could purchase my own battery. So if you look real close in the bag here, and this is where the exterior is, and this is where you hook your USB cable up and connect to the battery on the outside. And what I use, I take my phone, and one of the things I do is I, I put it upside down in the side pocket and then just connect my USB-C cable to that, and then I can charge my phone on the outside. I also have a little hidden pocket here for my business cards, or you can put a credit card, anything you want in there. And that keeps me keep not in case I forget my business cards on a meeting. So in summary, I did buy this bag. This is not a sponsored video. I really like the Mark Ryden bag. It met all of my criteria. The first one was, I think it looks cool, um, especially in a business or a boardroom setting. I don't look like I'm going hiking. The second thing, it had all the anti-theft features I was looking for, as well as the power requirements to keep all of my devices charged while I'm traveling. The other note I would say is if you're building out your tech bag, make sure you duplicate what's on your desk in your bag so you can simply pick it up and you don't have to unplug everything when you have to go on a trip. 
So if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Also, leave me a comment about this video in particular and tell me if you liked me reviewing gear or not. I may review more in the future or I may stop depending on what you tell me to do. But anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding. <laughs>